I'm Dr. Beth McDougall, and I'm a medical doctor in Mill Valley, California. I've been in practice for 22 years. And as we approach the, the close of this unprecedented year, I wanted to talk about some factors that are having a profound influence on our health. As we near the winter solstice, the darkest time of the year before the light returns, a very interesting astronomical event occurs on the very same day. It's called the Great Conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. And with, when these planets coincide on their orbital paths, traditionally it's been thought to be a point of epochal social change. This last occurred 20 years ago in May of 2000, but this is the closest these planets will be to our Earth for the past 800 years. And although I've never really paid a lot of attention to astrology, for the past few years I've been studying astrophysics and actually paying a lot of attention to the effects, the large resonating bodies of the planets in our solar system have on our biology. Um, our biology is energetic in nature. In fact, the, the information and energetic signature of each planet is so distinct that it gives off a unique sound. And the sound can be picked up by large satellites. And so if you go to a NASA site, you can actually listen to the sound, almost like the eerie music of each planet. It's really interesting. And all of this is coinciding with the fact that our Earth's electromagnetic field is weakening. And although experts don't agree as to why this is happening, it's associated with the movement of magnetic north on our planet away from true north. So magnetic north, as determined by a compass, is moving away from true north, which is a fixed point on our planet, and that movement is accelerating. It's actually now at 40 miles per year. And normally, the electromagnetic field of the Earth creates a protective buffer that kind of buffers us from cosmic energies and energies from our sun. And this coincides with our sun in our solar system moving into a point of peak activity in its 25,000 year cycle. So we're beginning to see greater coronal mass ejections, solar emissions, solar radiation, cosmic radiation coming to the earth. And now those energies have even greater penetration into our atmosphere and potentially a greater effect on our biology. So with this new flood of electromagnetism and with the more subtle energetic information given off from the planets in our solar system coming into our atmosphere, our bodies are going to need to adapt to all that new information. And my sense is that dissonant energetic signatures within our systems related to childhood traumas or familial or cultural programming that's preventing us from appreciating our true nature, or even coming from poor diets or toxins and things like that, these dissonant signatures are going to weigh us down and limit our ability to adapt. This all coincides with change of life as we knew it. You know, the life we used to live is a remote memory for many of us. And like it or not, you know, we have an opportunity right now to take stock of our lives and determine what is working and what isn't. So the transformative energies, you know, are probably associated with everything else we're seeing. You know, it's probably no coincidence that we're, we have a global pandemic and 
social unrest in the United States and like, you know, kind of tension in our political landscape. It, we have newfound peace in certain other areas of the world, such as, you know, that have never been seen in my lifetime, such as the Middle East and Eastern Europe. You know, so no matter which way you look at it, change is afoot. And as we approach this darkest time of the year, traditionally, this has been a time where we turn inward. And I urge each of us to do that right now at this pivotal moment. And ask yourself some really honest questions. Ask yourself, how do I become more proactive about my health instead of reactive? What choices am I making that support my health and which ones do not? What, what do I miss about my old life and what was I taking for granted? And what do I want to pull from the past to inform the present? And what from the past was distracting me from what really mattered. How do I express my true gifts in the world? How do I become an agent for change? And how do I help to create the world that I want to live in? A world for almost the first time where we're living in harmony with our environment and all of our fellow human beings. So I urge each of you to take advantage of this transformative time for what it offers us. Take advantage and evolve. The time is now. Happy solstice.